On the wing now, it's Cole getting it ahead. Orsato bumped by Felino, and it's Felino who goes sprawling. Mike Felino is hurt. Mike Felino's down. It looks like it's his leg to me. Here it is here. You think he's going to throw the big hit, and then there's his leg right there. And you can see that on the way down, he grabs his knee, and you know especially if you're a football fan, Joe, when those guys grab their knee as soon as they land, they could be in deep trouble. And they've got the Leaf doctors out here taking a look at it now. And they're calling for the stretcher, I believe. Yeah, I think you're right. Luciano Barsato was going across the middle and uh, just did get his head up in time to see Mike Felino arriving. And he just got out of the way. Felino, one of the more productive Leafs. Now... Right there, knee to knee, and you can see his ankle. Might be his ankle and not his knee, but he might have broken his leg. Well, they're going to bring the stretcher. Oh, we'll look at this one more time. Oh, it might be his ankle, yeah. Anyway, Mike Felino, who's been probably the Leafs' best forward the past month, in the last eight games, four goals and two assists, leads the team in energy, is up there among the leaders in hits. McGuire couldn't get to it. Berube is jammed into it. Tabaracci's going to get a roughing penalty. And Berube attempts to go across the front of the net right here, but he does get his glove up in Berube's <laughs> face. Bouncing puck. Brought in offside, and Rouse got a bit of a two-hander there and wasn't too happy about it and is intent on making sure everyone knows about it. Well, we're going to have Bob Rouse down there with Mark, so Mark, put your helmet on. I mean, let's have a look at it here. Rouse has got the puck. It's offside now, and you can see that's a tough call to take. Uh, no wonder Rouse and Watt are mad. The, the whistle had gone. Osborne gave him a slash after the whistle. Here's Mike Eagles on the left wing, closing in, and he had it stripped away. Then he knocked Fuhrer down, and there's going to be a penalty. Eagles went right through the crease, and this is how we get Marwa and Osborne shoving with one another. Todd Gill comes in, and now we got a lot of people involved. Quite often after the goaltender gets wrapped, as Fear did, this kind of stuff develops. Marwa and Osborne started the scene at, uh, in the neutral zone, but it wasn't Osborne. They got the wrong guy. Eagles. Anybody will do. Anybody will do in the wrong colored shirt. On this play, the Leafs were going to get a power play. Eagles comes in, he drops the puck, and then heads to the net. And you know, he didn't even see Fuhr. He did not run into Fuhr on purpose on this play. Look at this, he's looking for the puck. But the goaltenders, if they're in that blue area, have special privileges this year, and it's probably the way it should be. But out in the neutral zone after that, here's what took place. A little elbow under the mask, and then Marwa comes back at Osborne. Watch this little trick in the face-off circle. Well, we've always said Zezel has good feet. <laughs> Didn't use his feet there. Troy Murray stepped on his stick, and down he went. 